Hi again everybody, this is Neil from NAC Training. I just want to put a quick tutorial video online in response to an email I got the other day. Uh, Vincent emailed in and asked the question, if I'm filtering something in Microsoft Excel, I would like to be able to count how many things are still there after I do the filter, but I can't figure out how to make that happen. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the function called the subtotal function. And the subtotal function does something really wonderful for us. What it does is it does either sums or maxes or mins or averages or counts, but it does it on the visible cells, not the hidden cells. If you want to learn more about the subtotal function, go ahead and follow the link that's here or down below in the description. So let's take a look at the subtotal function in action. As you can see, I have a table of cells here, and I want to be able to count up how many there are in, let's say, the department column. Now, I could do the count function, but the count function will count both visible and invisible cells. So what I'm going to do is use instead the subtotal function. Now, when I open the parentheses on the subtotal function, you'll actually notice that it recommends if you'd like to average it, go ahead and type in a 1. If you'd like to count, go ahead and type in a 2, etc. Now, it may be uh, tempting to go ahead and pick 2 or 3 here to do the count, but if you scroll down, you'll notice that there's also 101 and 102 and 103. And the difference here is that if I manually hide cells, then 102 and 103 will not count those cells. But if I manually count, if I manually hide cells, that 2 and 3 will count those cells. So in my particular instance, I'm thinking that 103 is better. And just by quick point of reference here, for those of you guys who don't know this, count is the count numbers function, and count A counts all non-blank cells. So what I'm looking for here is 103 to count the non-blank cells in the department column. And then all I have to do is tell it which cells I'm counting, so I'll just go ahead and select all of the necessary cells and close the parentheses. As you can see, it counts 41 cells there. On the same way, I could do the count A function over here and count these office cells. And you can see that both the count function and the subtotal function return the same 41 cells in these columns. But the difference is that when I click on this table and apply a filter, and then I decide to hide some of these cells by applying a filter, you see that the count function still returns 41 cells, whereas the subtotal function <clears throat> with the 103 listing counts only the visible cells, not the hidden cells. And that's it. Have a great day, everybody.